bus is on the way. Flying in from Jump Junction down toward Pueblo. The players have left, man. They're out and about. Yeah, I'm wondering if in this game three, people are going to switch up their strategy or they're going to stick to what works. Sometimes switching it up uh, can be useful, but sometimes sticking to your guns will pay off if you figure out what's working and what's not working with your current landing spot. Yeah, and keep in mind, guys, this is randomized duos. We got all 100 players, randomly assigned them their duo partner and said, good luck, it's time to show up and play. And man, the action has not disappointed. Yeah, by now, some of these players should start forming a bit of a stronger bond with each other, considering some of these guys are playing with each other for the very first time. Yeah. They're ba maybe they're, you know, they got different landing spots, different tempos that they like to play at, um, and now they just kind of have to fuse into one tempo that works for both players. That's right, man, and already off the bat, we're seeing players start to lock down locations. Obviously, Tilted Towers is going to be quite the hot spot. Looking in right now, you can see Aiden. But where is Butters, though? Is he close by? He's still alive. Looks to be okay. He's got some shields on him. That's really good. And, and I think uh, that's Mendes definitely the smart thing to do in the situation. Uh, both set of players don't really have anything. But over here, we have Vicaros and Naga Ops in a fight with Ronaldo and Sap. We see the duelies come out. That is going to be Ronaldo. Looks like he's going down. Sap left to fend for himself. And now he's a little bit on the back foot. We're going to see the ramps and 90 start to come out as they try to isolate Saf and shut him down. Vicaro's still super, super low. Here comes so he's the gonna thirst. Try, yeah, he's going to confirm this to give that health back over to Vicaro's if he can. He's got eyes on Saf. The duelies putting in that work. Not enough. He has oh, no more Saf. ammo. Okay, so he Saf has a is second pair back. of duelies. This is getting really, really crazy right now, They've got to be careful. Everybody's got really low health here. Even though it's 1v2, Saf could easily turn this around. Oh, it's close! And he dives down on Saf. Now, he, wow, that was actually super, super close. Uh, Saf could have, or yeah, he could have made that play. He starts to build down, and there's just clingers being drained down from the sky. So he's going to be okay, but they, he has to back away from the supply drop entirely. Absolutely, and that was a really good play from Kevy. But they're getting rotated on right now. Sean tried to get cheeky. Kevy one responds with a massive blue pump to the face there. And now Sean is left to fend for himself. Rotation turn has happened. Oh. Kevy's punished. He tries to go for the window, and it, but and Frosty's gets... ready. Oh man, that is tough. Frosty predicted that he was going to make that edit. Sometimes you got to be careful when you're opening a window like that. Your opponent can shoot you back, even if that is your wall, and that's exactly what just happened. And Harmful's doing a great job, just staying aggressive, staying in their face. Even though you know Nick Merckx was popping that chug jug, he didn't want them to know that he was popping that, so he just kept pushing them, um, and he allowed him to get that chug jug off. And they're now pushing from both sides, taking out Overpeak. And going for his partner, Pate 1K. Absolutely amazing play from Nick Merckx and Harmful. Great positioning, great understanding of when to push and how to look like the bigger duo in this fight. Uh, Poach and Tendons have the kit to make it to the end game and potentially take the W here. Uh, aggress here. This is Nick Merckx that they're going to be facing off against. Oh Can boy. Poach make something happen? Harmful is down below, so obviously they're going to try and take the high ground. Nick Merckx is playing it slow. He's like, listen, man, I got to make my way back to you. I like this. He you did get punished, but it's OK. They're back together. Yeah, you notice the tempo that Poach and Tendons have. They, they pushed really, really fast and aggressively to take the high ground. But once they took it, they slowed down because they understand they need to make it to the end game. And they respect these players and understand that any fight they get into could be their last fight of the round. Thank you, Zeke. As players are starting to rack up these points, let's look at the story of Nick Merckx and Harmful here outside of Tilted. They find Sheep and Dopai trying to rotate with that quad crasher, but they're going to actually break it. And it's going to cause Sheep and Dopai to fall to gravity. They're going to be able to pick up some loot here, which is a launch pad and stuff and items like that, which is going to help them further. But here's Twyfo getting contested in that yonder yard. He's going to be able to take out Nistic, and he, they're having a little bit of trouble versus them as J Truth is down, but he's going to be able to pick him up. And now back to Nick Merckx and Harmful. They actually chase down Aiden outside of Tilted as Aiden tries to escape. He's not going to be able to. Here's Harmful and Nick just pressuring that front, and it's not going to be enough for Aiden to hold, get through that wall. And there it is. They're going to go ahead and pick up a rip. I mean, listen, man, there's chaos everywhere. This is what happens when you put 100 of the best players in the competitive team in one lobby and say, duke it out. But look at the circle. Half of the circle is high up on the snow peak over here. And um, guess who's up there? We got DMO and Tifu close to the high ground. Really good positioning for the game one winners. That's right. I mean, this is what they do best. And now, I mean, check it out, man. We still have plenty of people left, 50 players, and it's about to get super claustrophobic. There in the distance, we see Kuros 
go down. Kiwi face trying to save him. Doing everything he can. Yeah. And Dakota as well taking shots. And I mean, look, Pokesy's like, listen, I want some of this action. I, uh... That, that loadout right now, Cypher, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be honest, man. He, he, fortunately for him, he does have the two launch pads and the Rift to go, but he needs to secure in a limb and, and trade out some of his uh, some of his goods because Gray R, Gray SMG, you know, luckily for him, he's got the purple pump, but that's about the only thing working for him uh, besides mobility. And ooh, ooh a little yep. secret stash. Okay, okay, so he knew something we didn't, and that was that he had a secret stash. Fair, that's fair. I'll give you that. Not the best stash, but he got something it out of it. Better than nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. And now Kai's. Pay attention to that time. zip line. I wonder if anybody's going to use it to move around as the circle closes up. You know, you could, but it's like really dangerous. Now, keep in mind with this patch, we have the fall damage immunity. So, like, once yeah. you hop on, you can hop off and you're safe. But at the same time, it's a very, it's very uh, absolutely. yeah, it's a very like pronounced sound that plays, and everyone kind of knows exactly where to look. But you never know, with all this chaos, people can slip by. Look at this launch pad play coming in from Sofa and Fossick. Are they? Oh, they don't even have to use launch pad. Not what? Not yet, but they're they're getting oh, it prepped. They prepped it. Yeah. He was just testing. He's like, is it launch? It does. <laughs> does it work? I yeah. like it. The thing is, above them though, they know this yeah. is not their build. And, and there's gonna be a lot of builds cautious. above them, so I don't even know if using this launch pad is gonna be viable. I think they're trying to check right now, but I can see them jumping on this and just hitting another build right on top of them. I mean, yeah, man. I feel like they may have jumped that a little bit. Let's see here, looking to line up shots. He's got Jay Cuddy in line of sight. He's going to tag him once. I mean, they need to make something happen. No eliminations, and Chaz is gone. A little bit of pressure now on Cloaksy. I guess he's made himself a little bit of target. But he's putting so much pressure on people. Look at those headshots on Marksman. Double 60 with the gray AR. He knows he's weak, and he knows he needs to get some limbs right here. But look who's still in the fight. Nick Burks and Harpo, they have four eliminations together. Cloaksy going to the skies here. He's going to try and reposition. This is going to be really tough. This is an uphill battle for him, having to fight by himself. And look how many players still remain. 38 in the lobby. Looks like he's got enough materials. He still is holding on to his rift to go as a, as a la last ditch effort. Uh, so, you know, let's see if Cloaksy can do this thing by himself. And for you guys at home, if you're just tuning in, welcome. Secret skirmish time. Duos, randomized teams. That's right. Oh. For the final moments, Demo here looking to get to safety. Almost punished by Closey. Did not Just a little bit. 40, 40 damage. He'll 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 still be alive. He'll recover. Uh, but looks like TQ and DMR are holding the low ground really well right now. Jay Young take, gets taken out right there. But with four limbs, they secure at least one point. Bizzle oh, and Tricky oh currently zero limbs each, but are using their Rift to go, and they might go for the high ground here. Bizzle is an expert at taking the high ground and keeping it, and that's how he's won a lot of his uh, a lot of his previous competitions. So let's see what they're what they're going to opt out for. It looks like they're going for the mid ground here because the high ground was a little bit too contested for them. Oh man, Bizzle swoops down, and he was okay, but Tricky took a bunch of damage there in the green over at Nick Merckx as well. He, they have. Six eliminations. This is massive. Points. Oh. And he couldn't quite follow up. But listen, six, six eliminations. eliminations. Yes. Still massive here in game number two. And now we've got Cloaksy here trying to hang on for dear life. Bizzle, bizzle, bizzle. These guys, I don't know how it is they always manage to slip up by undetected, but they're going to look to make oh, that high man, ground Oh, man, the play. circle's going up the mountain. It's going to be really tough for these players. You need a rift to go, you need a launch pad, or you need a lot of building to get up this mountain. A lot of players might go down to the storm here if they're not careful. They need to try and do this follow up on the left, recycle people's builds, and immediately they're going up to the high ground. 33 builds. And we're down to top eight, Cypher. Sofan Posek holding the high ground, but Cease and his partner might be challenging it with this launch pad play. Is Cease going to land inside? He goes and dips into the storm, trying to make a little bit of a juke, but did not work in his favor. Gets shot. He has a lot of heals. He's going for the Elim on CPK Flame. He's opting to just go for limbs instead of healing as a way to heal himself. He's got five right now. This could be massive. He could potentially top back up on heal. One. That's one. Great pump shot, but he's got to get out of the storm. That's a 95. That's down. If he can confirm this, he just has to wait it out. They'll fall to the storm. Great green. shots. Great positioning. No Absolutely way. amazing play from Seas. That is seven of limbs and the win. Dude, to set himself up for that win. We'll go back and re uh, take a look at those final moments here. So again, we want to watch Seas here in the bottom left. You see Sofa and Tenants go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and he was just in the position, right? He was coming around the corner. They happened to take each other out. Here he was go. out of materials, too. He really was. It could have gone either way. He dips down around and he puts a shot down, and that's it. That's enough to get the win. Now, he did have. We actually have a 
dynamic, uh, two sets of dynamic duos here that are tied for number one, Demo Tifu and Bizzle and Triggy Soars. Both with 10 total points. Demo and Tifu do have two more eliminations, but hey, that performance uh, from game number two. No surprise there. Demo and Bizzle both known for their end game finishes, and they're on the top right here with yeah. the most limbs as well. And Cease, I mean, oh my goodness, jumping up 43 places to find themselves in third place by himself, mind you. So now Lyricist is probably thinking, first of all, thank you for the carry. Second of all, bro, thank you for boosting our morale because we're going to just carry this into game four. Look at the t total of limbs is seven, and they only had seven that game. So they start off their first two games with zero limbs, most likely eliminated off the drop. And now with the third game going in their favor, they come out and secure third place. That's what I'm talking about, man. Every game counts. You can have your moment. You just got to go for it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at this leaderboard. Things are continuing to shake out. Now, I got to know, man. Listen, I think, I think what we need to do is we need to set